Hello YouTube, hope you are doing absolutely well. As a beginner to Tableau, when it comes to importing data, we all tend to select the most simplest option to import data directly from local PC using Excel or CSV imports. Am I right? But in real world scenario, it rarely happens. Most of your data comes from huge databases like SQL, MySQL, cloud platforms like AWS, GCP and number of data sources. So to give a sample glimpse about the real world, today I'll be sharing a tutorial on how you can import data from MySQL database to Tableau. Here we'll be taking a dummy data, a very simple data from local PC to MySQL database and later import that particular data from MySQL to Tableau so that you will have a better idea about how the process works. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is a very simple data set which we'll be using today just for a demonstration purpose. So we'll be using this data set to take this data from our local desktop to MySQL databases. We'll be creating a table where we'll be importing this database and later from MySQL we'll be taking the data from MySQL to Tableau so that you will be having a clear idea how to import data from MySQL or SQL databases. And later you can create your wonderful visualizations. So this is a very simple data set that we have country source, we have country target, we have product and finally we have date. So this is basically a sample data set of how many products were transferred from this source country to the target country. Like you can see 12 products were transferred from China to India. And what was the date associated with this is 21st January 2022. So this is a very simple data set. We'll just quickly save this. Now our second step will be to open our MySQL workbench. Now here you have you will have number of MySQL connections. Now if you're dealing with any client, the client will be giving you the credential where you can access that particular database and directly import to Tableau. But now here since we are not dealing with any client, I will be using a local instance MySQL AT. So this is by default created by MySQL. So by default, the password is 1234. And you can click on OK. And this interface has opened where you can import your data and you can work on data pre-processing, extracting of data and a number of things using SQL commands. So firstly, I'll just import our data from our local PC to this MySQL database. So how can we do this is firstly, I will go in this schema. Now here n number of databases which are by default created by MySQL. So you can see GS, Takila, Sales, Sys, World. These are by default created. Project 3 I have created just for my experimentation purpose. Now I want to import that data which is our trial data to MySQL. So how can we do this? So firstly, I'll be importing my data into this GS database. This is my name, Gaurav Sahani. So I'll just click on this drop down, And you can see tables, views, stored function, stored procedures, functions. Now to import the data into SQL in GS database, you need to right click on tables. And here you will be having an option to import data from a table data import wizard. Now you can just click it. Now you can manually import data by adding your queries, SQL queries by create a data, creating a database and importing and creating the columns, the features, etc. and importing the database. So firstly, what I'll do, I'll just quickly right click on tables and click on table data import wizard. From this, you can directly import data from your local PC. So I'll just browse the path from which I want to import the data. You can see I have saved my data on desktop itself. So I'll just click on this trial data and I'll click on next. Now you can create a uh, sort MySQL prompts to create a new table and you can give any table name as you want. So here in my case, it's trial data. So I'll click on next. So table import, you specify to create a new table, but the table with the same name exists. So I'll just change the name. I'll just go back and change the name to trial data 2 and click on next. 
So you can see all the columns in your data will be reflected here and a small preview of a data set will be available here. Now once you are satisfied with this preview you can click on next and these are the steps which MySQL will be following that is preparing the import and import data file. So when you click on this next all these processes will be followed just click on next and we can see preparing import is done now importing data file is in process. It won't take much time because we have just limited data. So as you can see we have performed we have finished performing tasks and click next to continue. So I'll just click on next and you can see 1798 records are imported. Now I'll just click on finish. Now what I'll do is I'll just right click on this GS database and click on refresh all so that any database we have imported from any sources will be reflected under our tables. So I'll just right click I'll just click on this drop down besides the tables and let's see whether our data is available or not. We can see our trial data is available here successfully just to ensure we have imported properly. I'll just click on this drop down and see the columns and we can see all four columns have been imported perfectly. Now you can perform number of SQL commands to process your data, filter your data or basically perform number of operations on your data. But since today our main focus is how we can import data from MySQL to Tableau, we'll be getting straight towards our topic by not focusing anymore on SQL commands. Now what you need to do is you need to open your Tableau desktop software now there are two basically two versions of Tableau. The first is Tableau desktop and secondly is Tableau public. So Tableau public is basically for very beginners to start off with Tableau and basically it's very free but the limitation is there are not many uh, data import options. There are just limited importing options such as S, uh, from Microsoft Excel text file, JSON or PDF file but the server options are disabled in Tableau public. Now you need to open your tablet desktop software. Now here you need to click on this more and this to a server option. Now you will see number of data importing options like you can import your data from IBM databases, Kaivos, Marketo, MarkLogic, Spark, Snowflake, Splunk and there are n number of thousands of options and Tableau is constantly updating them. Now you need to trace MySQL option since our data is in MySQL workbench or MySQL databases. So you can see we have MySQL here. You need to click here. Now here it will prompt to enter the details of the server, port, database, username and password. Now as you know we had uh, used the default server that is localhost. So you can just enter this localhost here. Now if you want to know the port, what is my port number etc. You can just get in your SQL databases, SQL or software and you can just click on this administration and in this administration you can click on server status and this will give all the information about your database that what is the port name, what is the host name and n number of things. Now in this tab view, you can see my port number is 3306 my database let's keep it optional my username was root and my password was default password that is one two three and four and i'll just click on sign in so once you have connected to the mysql server to tableau you will see all the databases reflected here which are related to that particular server you can also see my gs database available here i'll just double click on it and all the data tables which I have created in that particular GS database is been reflected here. You can also see trial database available. So I'll just drag this trial data into this drag tables here option in Tableau and you can see all my data is available here. Now you can change the preview from 100 rows to 200 rows as well and you will have a preview of 200 rows. And also in this fields you can change the data type like for example Tableau is by default computed country target as geographic role. You can do likewise for our country source as well. You just need to click on this ABC and click on this geographic role and click on country. 
so it depends upon you and your client requirements and lastly you can just click on this sheet number one to use all your databases to create wonderful visualizations so this was all from my side and this is how you can connect your tableau to mysql databases and fetch your data directly from sql or any other sql databases servers if you want to learn tableau or work on some amazing projects do hit my tableau end to end playlist where i have created tutorials to build end to end tableau dashboards lastly if you like this video please do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel so signing off for today stay safe take care and thank you so much for watching